Art is a commitment. It influences the changing opinions of society. Art is a voice that translates experiences across space and time. Art is a story which allows people to communicate from different cultures and generations that enriches the true spirit of being a Filipino. Being passionate about arts didn't come instantly. I wasn't able to learn from art workshops and from professional artists. So the question is, where did I learn these techniques and art styles? My answer would be, from the generosity of the people that I get to meet every competition, art class, and friends who also share the same passion. I also explored various art mediums that I knew never existed. I would like to play along with using acrylic and oil paint to my canvases. Explore more till I fell in love in creating clay sculpture. As an architecture student, art is the language of my heart and soul. Strolling in museums and admiring the great works of our local artists are my passing time. From then, I came out from my comfort zone and discovered myself enjoying in small-scaled arts. I was able to maximize my creativity and apply different mediums to it. Transitioning to my senior high school years, I found myself enjoying and being comfortable with digital art, and thereafter improve my skills to pixel art. We will! Because we can help those who are in need, especially to our university's adapted sites. With our Buy a Knee Hand program, we can impart change. And live by your hashtag, Usakagugma to our fellow Ilongos. Since I was young, I could see in my eyes that there are atas that sell on the streets and seem to struggle in selling their products. Ata community has multiple products and their pieces have actually in good potential to be a bigger market. We saw what's lacking and we'll take action to them to let them known and be acknowledged for their authentic craftsmanship. With the help of Lixtinian volunteers and sponsors, we can accumulate enough funds for the beautification of Balay Tilipunan. Kadamu, may mga utan sila nga dala, may mga itlog, may mga jelibis sila, may mga bugas, may mga manok. Damu-damu, hindi daw hindi na gano'n kami ka isipan. Mga bisita lang kami doon eh. Makabalik na kami ay kung di si Mari, damu kami malibodan. Pero subong ay daw pang gini ka may ano, hindi kami kagwa. Kaya doon na... Ano pa din saway kami sa mga DSWB. I was a first year student when I started to engage myself as a volunteer in every outreach program associated with different organizations in our university. As I look at the list of the adapted sites, I discovered that our community is one of the many. I took the opportunity to start giving back and I want the younger generation in our community to know the importance of education and have access to educational supplies to influence the children to engage themselves in painting in order for them to widen their scope and develop the sense of creativity. The Balay Tilipunan marks the true essence of being a student who's living in the three core values of our university. Caritas, Veritas, and Unitas by working hand-in-hand -hand to renovate the wooden structure located in one of the adapted sites, Sitio Pandan, Barangay Napitasa. Since we are from the College of Technology, we'll incorporate our knowledge in reviving the beauty of Balay Tilipunan. We, we will because, because we can. We can. By Ani Han. I am Nate Itan Sabando, the Pillars of Innovation. I am Sarah Angela Melisa, the Pillars of Innovation from the, the College, College of, of Technology. Technology.